www.thejbeans.net. We sailed on the Norwegian Escape for seven nights in December 2019. Our Category IB Inside Stateroom was located on Deck 11 midship, a few staterooms aft of the forward elevators. We booked a guaranteed inside stateroom and were shocked when we boarded the ship and discovered that InSail assigned us to a wheelchair accessible room that could accommodate up to three guests. Because the room was wheelchair accessible, it was quite a bit larger than a typical Category IB stateroom, including significantly more space at the entrance of the room. Our room had two single beds that were converted to a queen bed and a Pullman bed that lowered from the ceiling for a jelly bean. Below the queen bed, there was a good amount of space for storing our luggage. End tables on both sides of the bed each had open storage with a small shelf at the top. An emergency assistance call button was located above the end table on the left side of the bed. Surprisingly, there were no outlets located within reach of the bed, but small reading lamps were located just above the head of the bed. A shallow nook, which we've seen on other Norwegian Breakaway and Breakaway Plus class ships, was situated above the reading lamps and was a great spot to easily put our Kindles before closing our eyes for the night. The stateroom's television was located at the foot of the bed, along with a small magazine rack. The TV had 20 channels available, with more than a half of them featuring NCL or ship-focused content. The rest of the channels included a couple cable news channels, a favorite shows channel, a favorite movies channel, and an international sports channel. A wheelchair accessible corner desk that had significantly more room than a typical inside stateroom desk was located to the left of the bed and included a cushion chair, three Type B American outlets, and a Type F European outlet. The desk area also included a large mirror, a telephone, a digital safe that could be locked with a personal code, three drawers for storage, and a small hairdryer. To the left of the corner desk, the stateroom had a double door closet and three cabinets for storage. The outside of the closet included a full length mirror, while the inside of the closet featured a few shelves, as well as a clothing rod with a pull down handle for wheelchair access. The closet was roughly the size of two closets on a typical cruise ship. The three cabinets had individual doors, and the middle cabinet was the location of the stateroom's compact refrigerator. The refrigerator was filled with drinks available for purchase, which made it a bit inconvenient for using otherwise. Like the rest of the stateroom, the bathroom was significantly larger to allow for wheelchair access and featured a walk-in shower and wall-mounted sink. The shower included dispensers with complimentary shampoo and body wash, while the sink area included a dispenser for hand soap and several other complimentary bath items. An electrical outlet for shavers was located to the left of the sink area. It's worth noting some additional specific accessibility features of the bathroom, including significantly more grab bars than a standard cruise ship bathroom. Additionally, all of the bathroom hardware was mounted at wheelchair accessible heights. The shower included a foldable seat. The sink area had a tiltable mirror and a pull cord was available for emergency assistance.
finally, the entrance area of our stateroom was also quite different from a standard room, with everything installed at a wheelchair accessible height, including the main light switch, which requires you to insert your room key or a gift card to turn on the stateroom lights. The makeup room and do not disturb switches. An emergency assistance call button. An automatic door button. An additional Type B American outlet for charging power wheelchairs or other devices. A couple of coat hooks. And an additional peephole on the door.